All right, guys, Boy 32 here, checking out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and I'm trying to get my stuff packed up because we're going to get on the road here. We've got a very busy, busy week ahead of ourselves. Going to be on the road for about 12 hours, probably sometime tomorrow. Anyway, uh, one of the things I wanted to do is uh, respond to a bunch of the comments that uh, I saw based on the uh, Law Tactical Folding stock and the question that people had about the lower. Okay, so what happened was, is I took this particular lower off of a rifle and I basically turned it into an AR pistol. And a lot of folks were like, oh my gosh, you can't do that. Uh, and one of the things that I want to do in this video is clarify what I did. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, and I did a video on this a while back uh, concerning the purchase of a lower and how it is classified on a 4473. Okay, so when you go to a gun store, this is an AR-15 lower. There's a couple different ways that this thing can be classified on a 4473. It's either going to be a long gun rifle, okay, long gun, pistol, or other. All right. 99.99% of the time, if I buy a AR-15 lower, I am going to, or these, yeah, actually, your FFL should classify this as an other. They don't know what you're going to do with it. They don't care. The ATF doesn't know what you're going to do with it. They don't care. Uh, you can take this home, and you can turn it into a rifle. You can turn it into an AR pistol. You can take it apart and do whatever you want with it. Okay, 4473, it's uh, classified as an other. Now, here's the caveat that a lot of people are talking about. And you have to understand that I only firearms that I have that are OEM or ma factory manufacturer are probably, uh, I've got a CMMG, the Banshee. That's a 10 and a half inch barrel on it and a 45 ACP. That was purchased as a pistol because it had a, a brace on it. it, has a 10 and a half inch barrel. They sold it to me and it's classified on the 4473 as a pistol. Same as this guy right here. This is the KS 47, 10 and a half inch barrel. Uh, this was sold to me as a pistol, not another and not a rifle. Now here's the kicker. This guy right here, this is the, well, I'll say Palmetto State Army. This is their lead star. This is the Grunt. Going to do a review on this rifle this week. Really nice rifle, by the way. I love the way that handguard feels. In any case, um, this was classified on the 4473 as a rifle. Hence, the serial number of the lower and the 4473, it's a rifle. What can I not do with this? I cannot take this and turn it into a pistol. So yes, some people were partially correct, but you can take this guy right here. This is a, well, Anderson lower that was classified as another. I can take this and I can take the lower, put a brace on it and put a 10 and a half or a less than 16 inch barrel on it, just like this. Let's see here. I got something laying around. Yeah. I can take this guy right here and put it on this right here, okay? And then put, well, I got a brace right here somewhere. Yeah, here's a brace, and I can put this brace on here. Well, it's in a buffer tube. But anyway, you get the gist. Uh, minus the foregrip, which I'd have to measure it out to make sure it's 26 inches or more. But the idea is when you have a lower and you're building that AR at home, you can do whatever you want with it, as long as you don't put a stock on this thing and then put it on video. That would be a different story. That's called an NFA regulated item. But I just wanted to put this out real quickly to show you guys what you can and cannot do. Now, I was 
kind of questioning some of this stuff. I was like, wait a minute, well, these guys know something or does something change? But I called my FFL, uh, the guys in there at point blank range, called Daniel. He does all my transfers. And he verified exactly what I just told you guys. You got an other, you can do whatever you want. Now, if you have an other and you build it into a rifle and you take it down to the gun store and go, I want to reclassify this as a rifle. Well, once you reclassify it, you can't take it and turn it into a pistol. Uh, logic is, in North Carolina, an FFL cannot sell or transfer a pistol to anyone less than 21 years old. Okay? Uh, he can, however, sell a rifle, just like this, to an 18-year-old. So there's some, there's some logic behind their reason. Uh, even though a lot of people, we and you know what, I'm all about it. Anything that infringes on our rights should be illegal and don't worry about observing it. But that's a good way to go to jail at the end of the day. Unless you're all by yourself and, you know, when uh, the apocalypse happens, every one of the guys was like, yeah, as soon as uh, shit hits the fan, you know all those braces are going to disappear. We're going to start putting the butt stocks on there and you're probably right. But in any case, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Am I right or wrong? And you know what? I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I wanted to show you guys and those individuals who are out there who were making the comments that I couldn't do that. Yeah, you can. It's Boy 32 If you like this video, you want to see some more stuff like this, let me know. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, we always end them like this. Support the boys in blue. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who so fight for our freedom as it was written by the Constitution. Originally, the old guys, our founding fathers. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.